coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Yeah, we're taking a live look up at Collett Park this morning on the northern side of Terre Haute. Nice day shaping up across the Wabash Valley. Once again, if you have any outdoor activities, be sure to get out and enjoy them. Going to be unseasonably cool once again. Highs topping out around 80, so a very another, another very pleasant day across the Wabash Valley. But it is going to be coming to an end as we look at the forecast highlights. We are tracking again the pleasant day today, but clouds are going to be on the increase, especially as we go through the afternoon and evening hours today. And as we get into next week as well, that will be leading to daily chances of rain. Scattered showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast as we go through pretty much the entire work week. But it isn't going to be an all-day washout, just going to be more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms like we had last week. Temperatures right now across the Wabash Valley, kind of a cool start this morning up to the north. 59 for Rockville and Paris, 62 here in Terre Haute, 63 for Casey and Robinson, 64 in Newton. Closer to 70 down in Vincennes, they're currently at 68 along with Lagodi. And our dew points are in the 50s as well, so that means it's a very comfortable start, not too much moisture in the air, so it is feeling better for us. And we are going to start noticing these values creep up just a little bit as we go throughout today, and then especially as we get into next week. I'm expecting us to make it into the muggy category today, but by tomorrow we'll climb up into the humid, and then we'll climb up into the sticky category as we get later into the week. So unfortunately that humidity is going to be back on the increase, but after all it is August, so that is something that we should expect. Looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker this morning, most of us are quiet. That's going to be the way most of us stay. Yesterday morning, I mentioned the possibility of a few isolated showers down in our southeastern counties, and that's exactly what we're seeing this morning. Just to the southeast of Shoals and eastern Martin County, we're seeing a few rain showers pop up. Again, the rest of us dry, and we'll put Storm Tracker in motion. You can see that activity just slowly working its way up to the northwest, barely making any movement, though. These showers are popping up and dissipating. That's going to be the case over the next few hours, so don't be surprised to see a few showers if you're down in Martin County, even southeastern Green, southern Monroe. But most of us, I think, will stay dry, though the clouds will be on the increased. Storm Team 10 Futurecast is going to show us that. Most of us are going to be seeing the sunshine this morning, but as we get into the afternoon, that's when the clouds are going to start to move into the Wabash Valley. But all in all, Sunday is still shaping up to be very nice for us. We'll have a light northeast wind once again, but in those clouds on the increase, highs today topping out around 80 degrees, so maybe just a touch cooler than it was yesterday. Now, we'll pick Futurecast back up this evening. You can see more of those scattered showers of possibility down to the southeast. We're going to keep the chance in for a few isolated showers as we go into the overnight hours, but I think most of us will stay dry. Going to be a mostly cloudy night, however. And then as we start our day on Monday, some kids going back to school tomorrow, including Vigo County School Corporation. We're going to start off dry, but you may want to have the rain gear handy for the way home because here we are at 3 o'clock. We're starting to see more scattered showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder out there as well pop up as we get into Monday evening, and that will take us into Monday night. So the rain chances are going to be back in the forecast. So for today, our last dry day, last day without a chance for rain unless you're down to the southeast, 82 degrees, mostly sunny. Again, those clouds on the increase as we go throughout the afternoon afternoon and evening hours. East northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then for tonight, another cool night down to 64. Mostly cloudy, a few isolated showers going to be possible, but again, I think most of us are going to be staying dry. And for your Monday, 81 degrees, partly cloudy sky, scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms out there, not looking at anything in the way of severe weather. Northeast wind at 5 to 7 miles an hour. And as we look at the next seven day, there are those daily chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms over the course of the work week. You'll notice the temperatures are slowly starting to climb as well. Those dew points are going to rise, so it's going to be getting more humid. We'll see highs topping out in the upper 80s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. A cold front's going to come through Friday. I think we've got a better chance for rain then. That'll try to cool us down as we get into Saturday, so we may have a few showers next Saturday morning, but hopefully by the afternoon, that'll be moving out.